In this video, we'll cover lead grading and scoring with Click Dimensions Marketing Automation for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Remember the first time you installed any sort of analytics on your website and you could see that you had visitors? That was great, but what did you do? Now with Click Dimensions Marketing Automation, you have micro tracking. You can see individually what leads and contacts are looking at and what interests them. It's a good start, but now to separate the job seekers from the curious, from your real prospects. We do this through lead grading and lead scoring. Lead grading is all about fit. So for us, if somebody's on our site and their role involves marketing, they're with a high-tech company and they use Microsoft CRM, that's usually a pretty good fit. Scoring is all about interest. If they're on our site multiple times, if they take our product tour, and if their click dimensions lead score is over 100, they're interested. So let's talk about lead and contact grading. Grading is all about fit and qualification. We do that through demographic information about the individual as well as firmographic information about who the individual works for. Click Dimensions provides social informed capture information in addition to what you already may know about somebody in your CRM. And your ideal prospects can be identified using workflow and Microsoft CRM views. The example is somebody whose title includes marketing and industry is high tech. For some companies like us, that's a good fit. Now, scoring. It's all about interest. It's behavior based. You get a numeric score. We give you default scoring values to get you started and we let you custom score certain pages if you want. And then interested prospects are identified by their lead score over a threshold amount that makes sense to you. So for example, if somebody had a visit over five page views, that shows a good level of activity. If they watched your product videos, that's the type of activity you want. Some of the features we have in our lead grading and scoring, we provide default scoring values for things like visits and page views. We also let you customize scoring values on a per page basis. You can even make those negative, for example, if somebody's on your careers page. We provide searchable keywords for when somebody comes from a search engine. A lot of times people will come to your site using things they already know about you, like your company's name. We prefer people to come from non-branded keywords. They're new. They don't know who you are. That's good. We also provide bounce and first visit identification. The bounce is when somebody comes to your site and doesn't click on anything. They probably weren't very interested. We tell you the source, whether it's from direct traffic, search engine, email, social, and more. And we give you two scoring values, what we calculate based on behavior, and then an editable value if you want to do workflow or something fancy and make your own scoring in addition to what we provide. So let's look at where lead scoring shows up in the Click Dimensions application. We're in Microsoft CRM on a contact profile. We can see that there's been a lot of activity on the tracking summary for Dan. He's had an 11 page visit, he got the autoresponder email sent out and he clicked through on it and had another visit and then he submitted two forms and went to our product tour page. We can drill down into his visit and see which pages he looked at. On contact and lead records we can see the analytics score which is read only. That's produced by our application based on activity and we can see the total score. This is an editable value just in case you want to trigger workflow and augment our score based on other activity. When we look at individual page views, we can see that some have different scores than others. This is because while we have default score values that you can change as you want, you can also score pages on a custom basis. Some pages, like your careers page, you may want to give a negative score to, while others, like your pricing page, you may want to add points for. I mentioned default score values. Let me show you what I mean. I'm in the Click Dimension settings and I'm going to click the score settings area. Here I get the score setting defaults. I've got mine set to 25 for form submissions that are successful and negative 5 if there's an error. I've got my visit set at 5, my page view at 3, and then my creation of an opportunity 50 while a lost opportunity negative 100. You can change these as you want. 